Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we're going to talk about the connection between works and salvation. Have you ever seen one of those cartoons where the character has jumped out of an airplane and what do they do? They dig in their backpack only to find an anvil. What they were looking for was a parachute, but they don't have one. You see, what should have saved them only proved to be their demise. Well, James now wants to challenge us to consider how we can actually do the same thing with our faith. Here is what he writes in James chapter 2, verse 14. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but does not have works? Can such faith save him? As we've said, the book of James is one of the most practical books of the Bible. It is Christianity 101. It is faith in real life. But we have to remember the book of James is not written for non-believers on how to pretend that they are saved. It's a guide and a reminder for Christians to live out the reality of their faith. That is why James begins by saying, what good is a faith that doesn't prove itself? Our neighbor to the southeast of Nebraska, it's Missouri. It's what we call the Show Me State. Now, it got its nickname from a representative who basically said, talk is cheap, show me. This is what James is saying. What good is a bag that says parachute when it's empty or full of weights? It's not going to save you. What good is a bottle that is labeled Tylenol but is full of arsenic? What good is a credit card if it has no credit? None of these are what they claim to be. They are useless, if not deadly. James uses this regarding faith. You can claim to be a Christian, but if you live like a pagan, something is wrong. You see, not every kind of faith saves. Only faith that relies solely on the grace of God. You see, that is the faith that results in a soul saved and a life changed. Jesus said as much in Matthew chapter 7, verses 16 to 18. Now, James will continue to develop this teaching. But remember that this verse is not a one-off, but rather building a case for authentic faith. So far, James has identified some marks of saving faith. He has mentioned enduring a trial, impartiality, purity of life, obedience to scripture, compassion for the needy, and more. Friend, saving faith works. This is faith in real life. So here's my challenge for you today. I would like for you to take an inventory. I want you to take an inventory of your life for the past day, for the past week, or if you would really like, do it for the month. If you were to make an assessment of your time, your treasure, and your talents, what evidence does it show? Does it point to heaven or does it point to hell? Now, Christ doesn't expect perfection but instead a posture towards loving obedience built upon the grace of God. Today, follow Him, and if you do, you will win the day.